Dear students, let us have a quick review about the fibrous skeleton of heart. What do you mean by fibrous skeleton of the heart? It's a complex connective tissue framework of four interconnected dense collagenous fibrous rings that surround the ostia of walls of heart. What are those four walls? One is the tricuspid wall, the other is the mitral wall, then the aortic wall and pulmonary wall. So the connective tissue framework surrounding these four ostia in relation with the walls of this heart that are interconnected by collagenous fibrous rings. Where are they located? They are located at the basis of both the ventricles, the right and left ventricle, exactly at the junction of atrium and ventricles. So around the right and left atrial ventricle are pulmonary and aortic orifices. That's what you are seeing in this slide. Then what are the components of this fibrous skeleton of the heart? There are fibrous rings that are surrounding the valves. The atrioventricular rings are two in number in relation to tricuspid and bicuspid valves. These two rings fuse and form figure of eight. So they look like a figure of eight. So there is the aortic ring in relation to aortic wall and pulmonary ring in relation to pulmonary wall. So the interconnecting these four rings, what you will be seeing is the trigonum fibrosum dextrum. So sir, this is the trigonum fibrosum dextrum or right fibrous trigon between the atrio ventricular and aortic rings. Then there is the trigonum fibrosum sinistrum or the left fibrous trigon between the mitral and aortic rings. Then you are seeing the tendon of infundibulum between the pulmonary and aortic rings. So the three interconnecting rings and the four fibrous rings you are seeing. What is the purpose of these rings or the fibrous skeleton of the heart? So this keeps the atrioventricular and semilunar orifices patent, providing the rigidity to these orifices and in relation with the right and left atrioventricular chambers and roots of aorta and pulmonary trunk. This fibrous skeleton anchors the basis of cardiac walls. So it provides attachment site for the cusps of walls. So the wall cusps get attached to it and it prevents over dilatation so that which can result in incompetency of the walls like mitral wall incompetency and then the aortic wall incompetencies. It anchors the myocardium of walls of four chambers. So the cardiac muscle in relation with these walls of the chambers, they get attached to the fibrous skeleton and also membranous part of interventricular septum. So these two will provide attachment for the cardiac muscle fibers. This fibrous skeleton acts as an electrical insulator. So it will not allow the spread of electrical impulse from atria to ventricles. The impulse will pass only through the bundle of keys. What is the clinical importance of fibrous skeleton? Any defects of this fibrous skeleton will result in improper closure of walls that can result in 
reeking of what was that is called regurgitation and all incompetence. So now you know what is fibrous gluten and then what are all the places where it is seen that is in relation with the four openings between the atrioventricular chambers two openings and then there is the aortic and pulmonary wall openings and what are all the three tendinous structures interconnecting them the purpose of fibrous skeleton and its clinical impact.